What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. In my last video, I shot these Hex, Easton Hex Arrows 330 Spine. Never really messed with them, just very briefly. Um, but today, you know, I was thinking on these arrows, it might be better not to run a blazer, boning blazer, which I normally run. And uh, something more sleek and profile might be better on these because they're super light. And they just like are affected by wind and everything a lot more. So anyways, I've had these samples that I've been wanting to try out, a bunch of different veins. And um, I thought, what a better time than right now where not a whole lot's going on. Than to fletch up some sample packs and then like test them against each other. I know they're all going to shoot really well, but I'm um, just kind of like see if there are any differences. So, I have, I'm going to keep three with this boning on, boning blazer on. Then I have the heat vein, which I've ran this before, and I have liked it. Um, so I'm gonna put these on. Then I have the boning X vein, two and a quarter inch. So actually, really, really like this vein. I had a couple of these on my couple of my axes. And then, oh, I meant to grab a three inch, but uh, another X vein and a three inch. So um, we're going to flush these bad boys up and um, kind of like do a shoot off against each other, I guess. So the three inch X vein is pretty big. It's definitely a bigger vein and um, probably is like the biggest I was, I'd ever run on like a hunting arrow. But um, still probably is gonna fly really good on hunting arrow. The heat vein, definitely a little bit smaller, a little bit more rigid and um, definitely like a sharper cut on it. Um, which is very interesting. I think that's gonna make it a little bit quieter. Definitely has like a more stealthy profile to it. And then the, leave the inch in, or two and a quarter? Yeah, two and a quarter inch X vein, which bias, I think this is my favorite right now. It's uh, sleek, looks sick, shield cut, um, low profile, and it's quiet. But um, we're gonna put them through the ringer. I'm gonna fletch two a piece. We're just gonna like shoot them at a block target at like 60 yards and just kind of see how they fly, see the different noises they make. And um, cause I'm a big believer that noisy arrows are not good. So let's get them fletched up, see how they do. fletched definitely quite a bit of a difference between all of them so it's getting it's getting kind of late outside but uh we're gonna go fling a couple and uh just see how they group see how they sound and um yeah just shoot them 
All right, we are back at right about 57, no, take that back, 67 yards. And I have all the arrows right here, and I have a uh, five-spot morale target down there. So uh, we have five different vein combinations. I'm just going to aim at a different dot each time. Might be kind of a small target for this far, but we're going to see how they do. First up is the blazer vein. Higher profile, but shorter in length. All right, just about hit the dot right on the top side of it. Mosquitoes are definitely out. They're everywhere. Ooh. <laughs> I missed that one. So that top dot is right on the top side of that block and that first arrow went about two inches high above the dot and then my second arrow went about two inches above that arrow. So just bump that down a little bit that stings luckily I have more blazer veins because that's how what they were originally fletched in There we go, that was right by the first one, so it's still a little high. <sighs> All right. Next up, we have the heat vein. I really like this vein. I'm kind of surprised I haven't shot it more. Um, it's super low profile. It even, they make it out of like a little bit thicker material, so it uh, keeps its like rigidness, keeps its form. I'm a big fan of the heat vein for sure. So initial impressions on the blazer vane is I really like them, especially for broadhead steering a broadhead. But they are a little bit more loud than like a lower shield cut, something like this. So let's see how this one does. All right, that one was much quieter. Very obvious is much quieter. Uh, but it went low. It went like underneath the dot. So I don't know if it has more weight, more drag. It's a longer vein and I am running a three degree, degree helical. So it could just have more spin rotation which just causes a little bit more drag. But it's quieter. So that's interesting. All right, those two are touching low right of the dot, so they're even a little bit to the right. Mosquito. Well, my camera just died on me mid-sentence going over those arrows, so we're going to go ahead and shoot another one if I don't get eaten alive by mosquitoes. This time, it's kind of hard aiming at like those five dots so close together because they all just kind of blend. So I'm going to shoot at like the big morel target on the right, just that center dot. All of them at the center and they'll all kind of like fall into place. Let's do again in order, blazer vein, number one. Let's make sure it's recording. All right, it's recording. 
Alright. Up first, Blazer Vein. Still pretty quiet. After I go back and shoot, I shot all of them and come back to this. Like it's still a quiet vein. It's not loud by any means, but out of all of them, it's definitely on the louder side than like a lower shield cut. Alright, those two are just like dead low of the dot. Oh, my sight moved a little bit. Or what? Maybe I'm just shooting low. I don't know. Then this is the heat vein. Again, I like this vein. Shoots good, it's pretty quiet. Like, wicked quiet. Like, you can barely hear it from down here. I got one in the dot and one just right on the outside of it. So those are shooting good. This is the two and a quarter inch X vein. Really like this vein. Shot it. Right, I have a couple on my axis right now. It's just a good. It's a good length. It's a good profile um, for like good broadhead steerage. I don't know if you can see these mosquitoes. But I'm going to have so many mosquito bites. Alright, that one's right on the right side of the dot. Pretty good. Louder than the heat veins though. Not much but just a little bit louder, just because there's more material. It's really all that comes down to the, sh the cut and the material. And all of them are at three degree helical. So the longer the, longer the vein with three degree helical, just the more surface area the wind has to go against. Basic physics, or physics, chemistry. That was a bad shot. Yeah, that one about that high out of the dot. I getting eaten alive. These veins, X vein two and a half, three, three. This is the three. Pretty sure. I said it earlier. Just a lot of material. It reminds me of like a um, like an old school vein. Like you see the old school hunting guys, early two thousands, nineteen nineties. It's not even old school. It's like not that long ago. Anyways, with the big fletchings or feathers and whatnot, shoots good. I know they shoot good. I shoot them on my indoor arrows and stuff. Um, but there's just more wind resistance, so uh, it's a little bit louder, more drag. And on a like a left to right wind, it'll mess with you a little bit more there. Yeah, that just went just low. I'm not shooting very good right now because I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. But I mean they're they're going down range. They're doing good. 
I'm still recording. Look at that. Ooh, hit an arrow down there. Ooh, I hit my other arrow with those veins. So the best group was the biggest veins. Probably a coincidence. Look at this. Mosquito. Dead. They're everywhere. So, moral of this video or or idea, I guess, is just to, to try different things. You know, everyone's shooting a little bit different setup. You might not shoot far. You might not shoot long distances. You might shoot big broadheads. You might shoot with a lot of wind out west or whatever. So it's like every vein, every vein has its own purpose and its own setup for different arrows and stuff. So uh, I might mess with these a little bit more. Obviously, while I'm not getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, spend some more time, see which ones I like. But um, I have to say, I'm, right now I'm kind of torn between the. Uh, I mean, the Blazer is an all-time favorite. You really can't go wrong with the Blazer, but the Heat Vein or the X Vein in the one and a two and a quarter cut. So this is these are the X Veins. Again, don't really pay attention to group because I was being attacked by mosquitoes. Heat Veins. These are the bigger X Veins, and then Blazer Veins. And I shot these and then moved my sight just for some reason I was hitting low. I was hitting low on this target also. But um, yeah, you can definitely tell my left and right's good, but they just kind of traveled up and down. These went low just because there's so much more material, air resistance and whatnot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of just testing out a couple veins, testing them out on these um, arrows that I don't shoot a whole lot, hex. I had to remember them, but the Easton Hex, super light arrow, actually really like it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out brealmerch.com hats. And we got a new OD green hat up on there. And uh, if it's not sold out, they sold out super quick. So, anyways, I'm rambling again. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.